thank you so much, Tim, for your, uh, your warm words, but thank you also for uh, your great work here as, uh, as MP. Uh, I want to thank as well uh, our colleagues from the region, uh, Bardish, Valerie, and Brian, uh, and also highlight uh, Barry's presence. Uh, Mayor Urbanovich, it's uh, great to see you again. We've worked together for many, many years. I'm glad to have you uh, as part of this announcement because it really is important that uh, all orders of government work together in constructive ways. I think we've managed to demonstrate that over the past years many, uh, many times in many ways, uh, but there's a lot more to do as always. Uh, and that was something that we talked about when I sat down uh, with Sean and Carolyn uh, and Ian and Aline and their kids uh, to talk about the challenges they're facing as, as communities. Obviously, um, you know, Sean and, and Carolyn have a beautiful home here that they bought a number of years ago, but there's a recognition that as families look to get into the housing market right now, it's getting more and more difficult. And even as families save up uh, and work hard, uh, every passing year seems to get housing further and further away from them. And that's uh, one of the big challenges around affordability that we're focused on with Budget 2022. And that's uh, very much what, uh, what I want to talk about today. We know uh, that housing is a real challenge, not just here in Kitchener, but right across the country. And that's where uh, we need to work together to solve it. We need to work together, different orders of government. Uh, we need to make sure we're there to support families because uh, getting a house into a home, building a strong future uh, for yourselves, for your kids, uh, should be something accessible to all families across this country. And more and more, it's just not. But we also know it's a complex problem without having any one simple solution and that's why we're moving forward and have been over the past years with many different programs and approaches uh, that are tailored to meet different needs across the country. In Budget 2022, we're focused on three main pillars. On a trois piliers de notre approche uh, pour lutter contre la crise du logement. On va augmenter l'offre en travaillant en partenariat avec les municipalités. On va augmenter uh, la, uh, la, uh, la, la capacité d'épargner pour les familles avec un nouveau compte uh, d'épargne pour l'achat d'une première propriété. Et on va contrer uh, les pratiques spéculatives injustes qui rendent ça extrêmement difficile pour des familles de rentrer uh, dans le marché uh, ces jours-ci. We're focused on three pillars. Supply, savings, and cutting down on speculation. Around supply, uh, we're going to work, as we have been, with partners like in, in municipalities to move forward on the Housing Accelerator Fund. And what this is is $4 billion uh, designed uh, to help cities and towns right across the country increase the supply of housing, whether it's issues around permits or zoning, uh, whether it's uh, land use studies, uh, whether it's just accelerating incentives for uh, construction. These are the kinds of things we're going to be working on uh, with the cities because we know we need to double the new housing starts in this country over the next 10 years, and that's what this plan's going to do. We're also going to continue with an extremely successful program called the Rapid uh, Housing Initiative that has uh, allowed for thousands upon thousands of new homes and new, uh, new uh, uh, properties to be built over the the past uh, couple of years uh, that will allow for thousands more very rapidly to ease off on some of the pressures that families are facing. We're also going to support with savings, and the big vehicle for that in Budget 2022 is a $40,000 uh, tax-free savings account for the purchase of a first home. And this account is tax-free on the way in and tax-free on the way out as you buy your first home. So this is going to help and incentivize and support families as they save up for that first down payment. There's also other measures that we've put in over the years that'll be there to help people save, but we know that saving up for that first home is really important. The third pillar is recognizing that even if there's a house there, even if you've saved up for it, there are unfair practices in uh, the real estate market that we need to push back on. First of all, far too many homes in this country are being bought by foreign investors, looking at housing as an asset class as opposed to a place to raise a family. And that's something we need to crack down on. So we're gonna ban foreign buyers uh, in homes for the next two years to make sure that Canadians have an opportunity uh, to buy their homes and not see homes uh, prices driven up as asset classes. Other thing we're going to do is make sure we're standing up for home buyers. The Home Buyers Bill of Rights 
and a crackdown on uh, pr unfair practices like blind bidding and others that uh, just make it so difficult and, and, and heart-wrenching uh, as people are trying to find their, find their first home. These are all measures that are concretely move forward over the coming years in easing the pressures on families and giving people an opportunity to be confident, not just about their future, but about their kids' future as well. And that's something we talked about a lot as we were talking about climate change, we were talking about uh, the various uh, pressures uh, on families, the challenges of inflation, the cost of living, while at the same time uh, looking at how lucky we are in Canada, uh, that we were there for each other as much as we were through this pandemic as we come out of it, we have an opportunity uh, to build stronger, more resilient communities, and that's exactly what we're focused on with Budget 2022 and with everything we're doing. Alors, c'est un grand plaisir d'être ici aujourd'hui pour partager tout ce qu'on est en train de faire au niveau uh, du coût de la vie, qui est uh, l'emphase le, de ce budget. Mais on a uh, bien, de, bien du travail à faire que nous allons faire ensemble dans les années à venir.